as you've seen then that is my neighbour from hell so my next door neighbour this is the property I bought to renovate and rent out but I think it's come to a point where I'm gonna end up selling it so as you tell now that's her dog going uh, bonkers next door and then keep on watching and I'll tell you a story about what happened yesterday uh, involving a brick and myself and why I'm selling the house. So yeah, I don't know if I told you this story previously, but when I first bought the house, there was nothing wrong, didn't see any problems. Uh, the neighbor on the one side was an um, old lady, she was lovely. She came out, spoke to us, um, just asked like what's going on. She comes into the house now and again, sees what's going on and how it looks. The other neighbor, we have no contact with her, never seen her before. It wasn't until the electrician come in and he started uh, tracing the cables through the walls that he realized uh, she was banging on the wall. So basically like, when they were like channeling, they were banging on the wall. Once they were done, uh, the plaster had come in then and the plaster was doing some work, basically plastering the houses. I think he was outside mixing. And he said all of a sudden he got a glass bottle basically thrown over and just missed him. He's like, where'd that come from? Um, so he let me know. Uh, so I did pass that on. I think it is a council house, but that's it. And then every time we come back, as you see in the start of the video, all the rubbish outside. So where her house is, her back door, there's like a fence. Like you see my shed, her, the fence. And I showed you all that rubbish on the floor. That's pretty much her, so every time she just chucks rubbish over. I don't know if it's just every day she chucks rubbish over or after we finish working. Um, again, just keep on watching. I'll tell you the story, what happened yesterday. But there's TVs there. There's um, like a Nutrien Bullet, um, the smoothie, the blenders, one of them there. Cat litter, there's everything. So I think she just keeps chucking stuff over the fence. So yesterday, um, so yeah, me and my dad's in here doing the the worktops in the kitchen. Uh, wasn't much noise, it wasn't until one o'clock. So we were just screwing worktops down and stuff. One o'clock, we, uh, let's show you this. So basically about midday, one o'clock, we cut out the hole for the sink. That was probably the loudest we was with the, the jigsaw. Um, and then obviously my dad left to go to work. I stayed here. And it was pretty much straight after when my dad left. I was in the kitchen right here, literally in this position, looking for some screws for one of the doors upstairs. I was hanging a door upstairs. So I was um, basically screwing the hinges onto the frame. Come down to get some screws. I heard a massive thud like something literally bouncing off the house or the window. If I spin you around there, we have that window right behind me, which is pretty much next to her house. So that's the back door. All the rubbish is in that corner. I was pretty much here. I heard a massive thud turned around. And then obviously the window was clean because I literally spent the morning cleaning the windows scraping paint off the PVC, ready for when the house is finished. Heard a massive thud, saw the splatter on the window, so I went over to have a look. As I looked out, she was bent over uh, in the garden. I was looking at her like, what's going on here? And all of a sudden she looked up, looked at me in the eyes, got a brick, and then just threw a brick right at the window and I was just in the window looking right at her and she threw a brick straight at me I was like wow to open the windows like that's not very nice is it um but yeah pretty much that was it yesterday I literally like I said the rubbish getting chucked over every day or every couple of days maybe I, I don't know I'm not too sure constantly cleaning that up um and then 
obviously bang on the wall, stuff like that. Obviously, if I do rent this house out and she's constantly doing that, I'm going to be constantly having tenants ringing me up, complaining. Um, if she does end up smashing windows, I'm going to have to pay to replace the windows. I basically just had a brand new front window fitted because I realised one of that one of them was smashed at the start when I built, bought the house. That could have been in one of the previous videos. Um, but that got fixed. That was roughly about 300 quid. So if she keeps smashing that window um, or does smash that window, I'm going to constantly keep paying that out. So I've come to a decision that I'm basically just going to sell the house. So instead of getting the house to a complete finished standard, just going to get it to a standard to where I can sell it. So pretty much spoke to a estate agent yesterday. They've booked me in for the end of next week to come take photos and value the house. Um, so yeah, now it's pretty much just getting the worktops, worktops on, kitchen sink in, living room floor inlaid, the main jobs. So then a state agent come in, take some photos, value the house, and then the rest of the jobs can be done after. So once they've gone, put the house on the market, I can then come in, basically just do the small jobs like um, sealant around the windows, clean up the windows, um, just little bits like that. Uh, seal the tiles in the bathroom, stuff that won't show up in photos or in viewings, but obviously it will be done by the time the house is sold. So that's the reason why I'm selling this house. I will do a video next week um, when the house gets valued and how much it's selling for or it's going for, what I bought it for, the profit that could be made from it and then how I'm going to use that profit to buy a property or maybe even more properties. So keep on watching, make sure you subscribe to stay, uh, basically stay in the loop of what's going on with this and the house and hopefully I will see you next week.